have you all together today here and that um, we have the opportunity to talk about the newest AI features in Smartsheet in this prompt engineering workshop. And uh, before we start with going any deeper, I would like just shortly that we introduce ourselves. So um, my name is Nico Rybnak. I'm the owner and founder of Lighthouse Consultings. We are a certified Smartsheet partner based in Germany, but working all over the world. Um, we have different clients in different sectors, you will see later. Um, beside my role at Lighthouse Consultings also, I'm a lecturer for business information systems here in the, at the university in, in Stuttgart. And um, I have a background in the automotive industry. I had the different leading roles in purchasing and operations and manufacturing engineering. I was managing global teams in the past. And more than 10 years ago, I discovered Smartsheet the first time. I implemented it and I fell in love. So logical step when I founded the company to partner also with Smartsheet. And today, here we are. So already three years in business, a lot of different customers, a lot of exciting stories, and hopefully um, we can also excite you today. So Anna, maybe something about, about yourself. Well, a warm welcome from my side as well. I'm Anna. My background is in Agile Management, Innovation Management. And in March, I met Nico at the Munich Management Colloquium. And he got me excited about Smartsheet, so I joined his team. We want to make the session highly interactive, so we highly encourage you to always um, post your questions in the Q&A. But also, like I said before, if you um, want to feel free to write, for example, in the Q&A, just to have a question or so, and then we'll unmute you and you can directly talk. And just that you understand, so in every customer discussion, in every customer introduction, when we start to talk about Smartsheet, we always start with this central information now because we think this is the strength of Smartsheet that we can really pull all information into one system together and give the access to the workforce. So within this overview, we can see here from the Vision 2030 to tra tra strategic transformation projects down to the Kaizen management system. And in the middle, we have like portfolio management, resource management, all those different kind of initiatives. As you know, we can steer and visualize with Smartsheet. So um, also here you can find, for example, our change management system framework here behind but also, and now we are going really uh, to this next step, to the generative AI topic. So um, we see here that sheet, what I shared with you also. And first I need to explain it a bit, and now you would need to be awake and, and, and listen carefully. So what we can see in the sheet is actually here on top, I created a data set, a data set which we want to analyze. Um, it's not too complex, it just contain like 20 or 30 projects, not much more, but um, it should represent a typical project portfolio. So, uh, so this is the basic data structure. And uh, of course, it's very simple. Some of you might have thousands of lines. And um, the, what I always like to do is really to try to stress what the AI systems can do, how accurate they work, and if they can help me in my daily work, um, slash that I can also help my customers or help our customers, of course. And um, the first section, what we want to look in, and uh, these are all Smartsheet-based functions today, right? Um, so first is we want to analyze the data. And um, it sounds powerful. Is this powerful? We want to understand. So in, with the first prompt, we want to understand um, around the persons which we have in the sheet, if there are certain priorities or not. So I prepared actually a prompt because I think it's too difficult to um, do this in advance. So the prompt, which I will now add here and um, same time I will add it in the chat. So you have the possibility to put it in your sheet also is identify the top three responsible persons with a higher cumulative planned costs for projects which are not started in or in progress and group it by risks. So, and that's what's coming out. And that's quite interesting, I think, um, because we can see really that DAI is 
helping us to understand the data. And uh, for all of you, you who know Smartsheet and work with other Excel systems, whatever, before, similar to analyze data, normally you would need several reports to think about to create a chart like this. So here, the AI from Smartsheet is um, giving us a very easy access and then result. And what is uh, interesting, I think, um, also we get the result explained here. So she is telling us what actually um, she did. So I think this is a very interesting um, yeah, deep dive into the data. And so there are some more um, potential problems which I put here inside. So um, go to the next one. Let's uh, do an easy one and, and count projects by responsible. So also I have a prompt here and I will share it just with you. Also again in the Q&A as I understood. And I will just, we can see uh, count the number of projects for each person responsible for grouped by their status and progress not started identified those with most not started in progress and staggered chart. So, also very interesting. So we can see here very easy um, who is responsible and, uh, and grouped it in a stagger chart. Yeah. So also the, the analysis behind. And I will not read out now all the, the details, just um, I would like um, to give you some idea, as I mentioned, what we can do. So, um, but we can group tasks by people and whatever we would like to do. And I will just add the picture here. So next we come to some basic analysis. And this is now more about project related analysis. So I have here also prompt summarize the total number of projects uh, and group it by the project status not started. So that's a um, standard question, I guess, which also you try no normally to answer with charts and reports and dashboards. And um, so here, very easy, we can chart it with Smartsheet. So we get here Smartsheet um, and um, you're like the Smartsheet internal consultant. Sometimes it's like this, if, you, if you're starting with Smartsheet in a new area, um, the people are coming with a lot of different requests, what they want to see, but at the end, and then you start building, but at the end they realize they don't want to see all. So um, you actually, and uh, do a lot of nonsense work at the end in brackets. So I think also this the AI and the analyzed data function can help us um, to streamline with the people the process and also to understand better what at the end we really want to see. Because dashboards are nice, analyzing data is nice and it's beautiful and we can make very fancy charts, but the core question is why I analyze data. And for me, it's like, of course, I, maybe I want to have data-driven decisions. The important point is like, I want to drive decisions. So the data I show should enable me or enable the person I report to, to make a decision. And this is the critical point, not just to make beautiful dashboards. It is analyzing the data in a way that we can drive decisions fast because this means agility. Very well. Now we take the next one. So it's an intermediate level. So calculate the plan cost for each department and rank, it the, rank the departments by their planned cost descending order. So for everyone who made this kind of charts before and use reports, you can see this, this is very helpful, right? Um, so here we can really get easier, deeper analysis. And you see like with every step, what we do here in the AI, actually we want to raise the bar a bit uh, in terms of the prompt. So we want to make it more complex. And that's what I mentioned in the beginning. So we want to see and stress the AI to see what is coming out if we starting to utilize it. Important here, is special to understand. And um, I did a lot of this prompt testing in, in the past. Important is we need to start small. So write a small, short prompt and then see the result and then add complexity. And I just make it uppercase. Like, um, as I mentioned before, like uh, if you want to count how many projects each, each person has, right? So then start with this prompt. And then if you want to see 
how many which projects are on risk and grouped by person, for example, like this as in a second prompt. And if you want to see based on this data, like uh, which cost or, or project is high at risk and, and what's related cost, right? So do this step by step. So the important part is you need to learn how the AI works. It is a tool and you can use it in multiple ways but start small and then um, learn how it reacts and then uh, utilize it, right? If you have problems, uh, sometimes I also realize sometimes the AI just doesn't work as in, in brackets. So um, just try to copy paste it again and, and, and reload the sheet. So this uh, might help sometimes, yeah. Okay, so now we have, um, do they copy the right one? Yeah, group all projects by department and risk level for each group. Calculate the planned cost savings and the average planned cost per project. So you see, in terms of complexity, we're getting more and more complex with every prompt what we here try to write. And imagine you're sitting together with your bosses or with other teammates and you want to analyze some data and everyone has smart questions, right? So with the... AI on hand, you can enter, you can answer a lot of smart questions very easy. And um, now also, I know that a lot of people are struggling with formulas. Um, I was at Engage in Seattle this year and also last year, and also in London at Engage, Smart Sheet Engage, and all the formula uh, topics, uh, as all the formula workshops doing the Engage event were, were always totally packed. So. And I think there's one common problem for a lot of people, and this is how to use index match. And um, the very cool thing is also talking about AI, that now we can get help by the AI from Smartsheet. So if I just put this question here inside, how to use index match, it will give us the answer and also an example. So it's pretty brilliant, I think. Um, so I hope this will help a lot of people because um, sometimes it's uh, difficult, of course, for non-coder to, to find the right way. And um, so therefore we have some good hints here. That's great, right? So as we can, on the one hand side, we can use just simply now the get help button. But if we want to know for example, in our sheet here, the difference between the total plan cost and the actual cost, which make, of course, a lot of sense, right? It's a basic question in the sheet, what we see, formula values, and also here, we just paste the text. And I will not respect the syntax to collect the columns, but we see on Smartsheet understood what I want to do. And that's, again, very cool, I think. So we can just here apply the calculation and we have the calculation. So nice. The For the next example, um, that's also sometimes difficult. I saw in a lot of in the Smartsheet community in the forum, people have difficulties to, to um, utilize uh, multi-select columns. And also here, you can see that actually what we did here is the, the cost impact which is here one of our criterias in the focus which is a multi-select column and um, when i start to use the prompt here now please let me write the prompt so also here to explain here's the has cell inside right so uh, it's actually working so uh, interesting right because even um, the cost is not the cost is in single select but also within multi-select and there's also the next prompt. There's another uh, multi-select feature here inside, which is the Kaizen, for example, and also here the AI will help us to understand the actual average cost. If you go over the text summaries and just show you what we can do here, because also here I find it very powerful. So, um, oops, first um, is here, of course, I can... Um, We'll just now copy it and, and show you the result, okay? So uh, there's this long text here, um, which I wrote on the Forbes Business Council about um, change management and, and why it's important and how to do. And that if I if this text is too long, I can just summarize it here. So it's very easy. Please summarize the text. 
as the next prompt, um, also we can be more specific. And also here, I will just copy it now inside. So we can see here, please give me three actions of this text for my company, for example, right? So um, the AI is actually um, giving us an output here and analyzing the, the data. And this is even going one step ahead if we're thinking like um, this text is important and we would like to have a project plan out of it. So we just ask to give us activities and uh, create a project plan with 10 points. Also, this is feasible. And now it's not just the question of um, analyzing a certain text. I think the other important part is like reference the text or the input, what we give uh, um, to other stuff. So in, in, in this case, we can ask if how does change management resonates with the ADCA model. The ADCA model ac actually is something um, which we use also in, in change management about people awareness. And um, here we can see that she really understands what is the ADCA model and also she references against the text. So I think pretty amazing. Okay, um, this are not all the part, uh, not all the prompts because the last one I think which can find a lot of use cases for different people and departments. Of course, in multinational companies, if I want to summarize the text into Hindi or vice versa, of course the AI can do it for us. So I know a lot of companies where um, not everybody speaks English, right? If you're a multinational company, and with this function you really enable the complete organization to speak in one language. Very powerful from my perspective. We would like, because that was a question, right? So coming up with Smartsheet and uh, can I reference just one, uh, one sheet or different sheets? And in a moment, it's just baked within one sheet. Um, so even just single columns for, for some of the analyzed features. But um, this journey just started and um, you can find here on Smarty website. So there's more um, to come. Um, what I personally find very interesting and powerful is the build assistant on the one hand side. Imagine you want to build a new uh, reporting system. So a bit maybe similar or probably more, more powerful than the templates today. Portfolio insights. I think this will be a game changer and also especially about people inside because today if you want to see specific utilization for people, for example, as we just saw, you can see today already in sheets and utilize the AI, but in the future, I think there is much more to come. If you want to follow us, um, you can connect us, of course, you can uh, write us a mail, you have our email addresses. also. If you're interested into the events, which Anna just mentioned, um, follow us, the company, on the Eventbrite site so you get uh, you can stay in touch. Um, furthermore, there are multiple channels how you can reach us. So uh, on LinkedIn, there's a Smartsheet Innovator Network, which um, I founded. Um, there's a YouTube channel where we post some videos sometime, from time to time. There is on the Forbes Business Council, you can find some articles from my site about different topics, high performance teams, change management, how, uh, how to manage your day as an executive, um, all of these uh, different stories, uh, points I, I worked out here to share some information. Well, the rest, we wish you a great rest of the day. Thank you for joining our webinar. Hope to see you soon again. Yeah. And um, AG, if you Jan. want. You can stay, also whoever want to stay, uh, we can bring you up now. So uh, there's no limit in terms of timing. Um, and I think Angie wanted to follow this. So um, I'm more than pleased to take anyone up. Um, for the rest of people who don't want to join and, and stay, <laughs> thank you very much for your attention and hope to see you soon. If you need anything, um, just uh, contact us. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.